Shantae Patel here, aka PlayStation Mommy, and today we have a very interesting unboxing. As you read on the title, Battlefield 1 Collector's Edition. But what makes this so interesting is the fact that it doesn't come with the game. I know that seems a bit odd, but I have seen a lot of collector's editions um, recently coming out without the game. That way you can buy the game and then just pick which one you want. So it's an interesting concept, but the main reason I had to pick this up was because of the price. It was $22.61. And because I have Amazon Prime, it was free shipping. You just can't beat those deals, even if it doesn't include a game. As of right now, January 26, 2017, they're currently going for $29.80, which still isn't that bad. I mean, considering that this game retail, well, the collector's edition, don't want to say game because it's not included. For this specific collector's edition, it goes for um, $129.99. It has been out for a while since October 21st, 2016, but still that is a great deal. I had to pick it up, game or no game. And personally, I'm definitely going to get the game now that I have the collector's edition, but I've never really played a Battlefield before. I've always been more lenient towards Call of Duty as if you've seen in my other videos. Um, I have been following Call of Duty for a few years now. So it's going to be interesting to see um, basically what Battlefield has to offer compared to Call of Duty. I have been told a couple of times that Battlefield 1 is better. So I guess I have to try it for myself. So stay tuned and see what goodies are in this collector's edition. Thanks. And here we have the box. Battlefield 1 with the guy. And I don't know what that's supposed to say. Stuff going on right here. And we got the handy dandy unboxing knife that my boyfriend got me. It's pink and pretty. And we can unbox stuff. Ha, ha. So according to Amazon, it was like 14.7 pounds. When they shipped it, it was like 15 pounds or something ridiculous. So it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, it has a sleeve. It has stuff on it. What is this? Okay. So, black on black, Battlefield 1, front, important statue instructions. Get a little detail of everything that you get that we will be seeing right now. Steel book, poster, statue, deck of cards, some other stuff, patch, fun, fun stuff. This is a little continuation of the front. Oh, put this to the side. go bad real quick. It's so much more massive than it needs to be. Okay. Pulling out the knife again. Try not to hurt myself. It's this. Okay, it's a redemption code. It's exclusive for PC, Xbox One, or PS4, and it's in the pigeon tube. And apparently you have to visit their website in your EA account, enter the code, and select the platform. I was really wondering about that since these collector's editions aren't marked for anything, but it looks like they gave you extra stuff. Hmm. Oops. I'm cutting 
styrofoam. Why is this so complicated for me? Not think it's too good. That is probably easier. Awkward. Okay. We will be doing this then. It's gonna fall apart. Unboxing where it's always a struggle with me. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we'll take off the tape. So we're good. I don't even know how to put oh, this battlefield one again. Let's just throw that to the side. See what we have here. Well, first, let's check out this guy. If you can. But, and he comes with batteries. I was also worried about that. He's a guy. Don't know who he is because I never played Battlefield. We are going to need a screwdriver though. Can I use my knife though? Hmm. Okay. Let's put him to the side. We'll figure him out in a bit. Put his batteries over here with him and then looks like he got other arms put that to the side for now while we see everything else so i love steel books it comes with a steel book also has him i think it's him gold pretty since it's not designated for a certain console or PC, it doesn't say anything. It's just an empty steelbook. Because, yeah. Got some gel stuff that nobody needs. Got a cool patch. Looks like a black horse and a red jacket. Don't really know. I don't play Battlefield, like I said, so who knows what that really means. I guess I'll find out once I actually buy the game and play it. Next thing we have here, it looks like the cloth poster. It lists in least now. Your country needs you. Put that down for a bit. And playing cards. Don't watch me struggle with this. Maybe I'll do this. I'm scared I'll do something to it though. Okay, I don't think that's going to work out. Oh, there's a little thingy like gum to make it easier. Look at that. I just like the struggling life. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. So it has this little diamond pattern. I don't know if you can tell, but all the cards also have this pattern. It looks like each card has, it's like a regular deck, but there's Battlefield's related stuff on it. Not sure, like there's this guy for the Jack, this chick for the Queen, this guy for the King. Yeah, seems cool, seems cool. Don't know what's going on with the lighting, but okay. And here's our little pigeon thing, pigeon tube that they refer to. I guess there should be a code in here. What is, is this the code? What is this inside? Does this open? Oh, it opens. That's 
fun. It looks like, please refer to the instructions on the package and sleeve for details. It looks like a piece of binder paper. Like it even has the little hole. It's ripped up, like not perfectly straight to make it authentic. It's this redemption process. And it has the code. Not going to show you that because I got to go use it. Roll this back up. Okay. Don't want to lose this guy. I don't know what this is for. Let's just put it in there in case it's important because it has numbers on there. Okay, put that to the side. Okay, back to this guy. I don't know what he does. Apparently, he comes with interchangeable, interchangeable forearm. Oh my goodness, why can't I open this? Okay. Okay. So, let's see. just pop out so you can change his forearms and guns that one just popped off gotta use a little force there we go there we go so, as you can see, you can switch the hands, gun, it looks like there's only two right and two left. So, two rights, there's two different guns. The left, there is this bat with needles looking thing, or nails, or a large gun. Now, what I really want to know is, I do with this knife. No, I think I need a screwdriver. Okay, okay. Let me undo this to see if we can figure this out. Because I have no idea what he does, and I'm low-key excited. Because I don't really see anything. But there's batteries. And it tells you to put batteries and stuff and whatnot. So let me grab screwdrivers see which one fits let's see let's see use this lighting left for loosey goosey there we go there we go there we go What do you do? I put the batteries in. Do you talk? Do you light up? I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you need batteries? Does not say anything. Don't think there's a button. Having behind the scenes people looking it up because. I have no idea what to do. Hmm. Are my batteries not good? I put them in right, I think. Left for loose. 
loosey goosey. I don't see an on switch. What do you do? Huh. I never look at instructions, but I feel like I need to look for instructions for this. There's an on switch. Oh, there's something. There's an on off switch somewhere. Okay, we put the batteries, remove debris cover. Oh, so we take this off. I don't want to break it with debris cover. Let's be honest. Oh, is it this one? There we go. Look at that. What is he doing? Hold on. I need to turn around for this because I don't know what's going on. He lights up. I don't really get it. Maybe if I played Battlefield, I would. He's glowing red. Apparently, there's a little thingy right here that you lift off, up, or off, and then you turn it off there. And he goes back to normal. Bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> um, I mean, after seeing that it came with batteries and stuff, I was super excited. But... I, I'm low-key kind of disappointed because I don't get it. You guys have to go order the game and find out. So, yeah. That's it for this unboxing. If I can talk. It's always fun watching me struggle with this stuff because there's nothing else to do. So, yeah. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.